Hello children, this is Grandma Carla with Amelia Bedelia and the surprise shower. I like Amelia Bedelia books. There was a knock at the back door. Coming, coming, called Amelia Bedelia. She opened the door. There's the person knocking. And there's Amelia opening the door. Oh, it's you, Cousin Alcolu, she said. Do come in. Mrs. Rogers asked me to help you out today, said Alcolu. Is she having a party or something? Every Tuesday, said Amelia Bedelia, some ladies get together. They just sew and talk, but today, Miss Alma is in for a real surprise. Those ladies are going to give Miss Alma a shower. So, Miss Amelia Badilla is telling Mr. Alcolu what is going to happen. A shower, said Alcolu. A surprise shower, said Amelia Bedelia. Now, why would they do that to her? Asked Mr. Akoyu. Miss Alma is nice. I don't know, said Amelia Bedelia. She's about to get married. They should do something nice for her. She can give herself a shower. Your folks do have funny ways, said Akolu. There he is, talking with Amelia Bedelia. Say, are you cooking something? My cupcakes, said Amelia Bedelia, and she ran to the oven. Just right, she said. They need to cool a bit. Then I will ice them. Mr. Rogers came in. Good morning, Amelia Bedelia. Good morning, Alcolu, said Mr. Rogers. My, what a nice lot of fish, said Amelia Bedelia. I guess Mr. Rogers likes to fish. There's the string of fish that Mr. Rogers got. They should taste good, said Mr. Rogers. Please scale them and ice them. All right, said Amelia Bedelia. Say, Mr. Rogers, did you ever hear of giving somebody a surprise shower? Oh, yes, said Mr. Rogers. It's like a surprise party, and they shower the person with gifts. That's why they call it a shower. Mr. Rogers looked at his watch. I have to go to town, he said. Mr. Rogers left the kitchen. There's Amelia with the fish. And there's Mr. Rogers going out. By the way, Amelia Bedelia said Alcolu, Mrs. Rogers told me to prune the hedge. Could you show me how? I would be glad to, said Amelia Bedelia. She went to the cupboard and she took out a box of prunes. Amelia Bedelia and Alcolu went to the hedge. Now, said Amelia Bedelia, you take a prune and then stick it on like this. Is that all there is to it, said Akolu? Prune it well, said Amelia Bedelia. Mrs. Rogers likes things done right. There's Amelia Bedelia showing him the prune box and then showing him how to stick the prunes on the bush. Do you think that's the right way to do it? Amelia Bedelia went into the kitchen. Oh, I plum forgot my cupcake, she said, and I must make that chocolate icing. Amelia Bedelia put some of this and a little of that in a big pot. She stirred and she stirred, and then she tasted the icing. Just right, she said. Amelia Bedelia began to ice her cupcakes. So there she is, icing her cupcakes. The fish, she said. Mrs. Ro Mr. Rogers said to scale them and ice them. Abelia, Amelia Bedelia got the scales. She piled the fish on them. There, she said. You just scale yourselves while I ice the cakes. And Amelia Bedelia iced her cakes. Those look nice, she said. And there's enough icing left to ice the fish, too. Amelia Bedelia picked up a fish by the tail. I hope you have scaled long enough, she said. There, she's weighing the fish on the scales, 
instead of really scaling them, which means to take their scales off. And she's looking to see if maybe she's going to have enough icing to cover the fish. She iced one side of the fish, and then she iced the other side. Amelia Bedelia worked until the last fish was iced. That takes care of you, she said. Amelia Bedelia put the iced fish and the iced cakes in the cupboard. In the cupboard. There she is, icing the fish. And then she puts them right next to the nice iced cupcakes. Mrs. Rogers came into the kitchen. Amelia Bedelia, use this tablecloth for the table, she said. Do run over it first with an iron, and we need some cut flowers, said Mrs. Rogers. She went out the back door. Amelia Bedelia unfolded the tablecloth. She put it on the floor. Then Amelia Bedelia got the iron, and she ran all over that tablecloth. There she is getting the tablecloth. Now she's holding the iron and running on the tablecloth with her dirty shoes. I don't think that's what Mrs. Rogers wanted her to do. Amelia Badilla put the tablecloth on the table. Alcolu came over to Amelia Badilla. That takes care of that, he said. I even had some prunes left, so I pruned the other bushes too. That does look nice, she said. Mrs. Rogers will be mighty pleased. There they are, looking at the pruned bushes. And Amelia Badilla is holding the tablecloth that she's about to put on the table. Amelia Badia and Alcolu met Mrs. Rogers at the back door. Mrs. Rogers came in with a bunch of flowers. She put them on the kitchen table. Amelia Badia, she said, use the large silver bowl for the cut flowers. All right, said Amelia Badia, and Mrs. Rogers left the kitchen. There they are. Oh, what pretty flowers. She came right back with a basket of gifts. These are for Miss Alma's shower, she said. We will start sewing as we always do. Then when all the ladies are here, we will say surprise. Then comes the shower. Can you and Alcolu take care of everything? Oh, yes, said Amelia Badia. We will see to everything. These flowers are so pretty, said Amelia Badia. It's a shame to cut them. She said, cut flowers, said Alcolu. Let me help you. So Amelia Badia and Alcolu fixed a bowl of cut flowers. Oh no, she cut all the flowers off the stems. Oh my. We do have some figuring out to do, she said. I thought those ladies were supposed to be giving this shower, and here we are giving it. If we had known, said Alcolu, we could have fixed up something fancy. It's too late for that now, said Amelia Bedelia. The two of them went outside. Amelia Bedelia saw the garden hose. Think that will do? asked Alcolu. I think Alcolu thinks a lot like Amelia Bedelia does. Oh, dear. What are they going to do with the hose? Oh, my. Well, it's not really a shower, said Amelia Badia, but it's the next best thing. I will give her the gifts, and you can shower her. The gifts will get wet, said Alcolu. They are shower gifts, said Amelia Badia. What if they do get wet? We will get wet, too. Well, said Alcolu, we can put on something else. What a good idea, said Amelia Badilla. Hide those gifts first, said Alcolu. Amelia Badilla hid the basket of gifts under some bushes. It is time to get ready, she said. There she is, hiding the gifts under the bushes that are pruned. Oh, my. A bit later, Amelia Badilla heard a car stop. Here come the ladies, she called to Mrs. Rogers. Mrs. Rogers hurried out to meet them. Mrs. Ralph came first, and with her came her four children. Look, they shouted, prunes on the hedge. The girls and the children went racing past. 
So all of the children enjoyed the prunes that were on the hedge. More and more ladies came. They began to sew, but Miss Alma did not come. Where is Miss Alma? Everybody asked, but nobody knew. Mrs. Rogers looked at the table. Footprints, said Mrs. Rogers. Amelia Badilla, what did you do to that tablecloth? I ran over it with an iron, said Amelia Badilla. Should I have taken my shoes off first? Mrs. Rogers forgot that she cannot say just anything to Amelia Badilla. She has to make sure that she tells her exactly what she wants. Oh, never mind, said Mrs. Rogers. Amelia Badilla, where are the cut flowers? She asked. Oh, my, said Amelia Badilla. I forgot them. Amelia Badilla ran in and got the flowers. Mrs. Rogers looked at the bowl. Amelia Badilla, she cried. What did you do to those flowers? I cut them, said Amelia Badilla. You said to fix a bowl of cut flowers. There, she's showing the, the flowers that are so much smaller than they were to start with. Poor Mrs. Rogers is fit to be tied. Just then, Miss Alma drove up. Here she is, said the ladies. Sorry to be late, said Miss Alma, but I have a headache. I am sorry, said Mrs. Rogers. You just sit down. Mrs. Rogers turned to Amelia Bedelia. Are you ready for the shower, she asked. We will need a minute or two, said Amelia Bedelia. She called Alcolu, and they went around back. There are all the ladies, and there's Amelia Bedelia about to sneak off to get the shower ready. Oh, no. And there stood Amelia Bedelia and Alcolu in bathing suits. All right, called Amelia Bedelia. We are ready. Then all of the ladies shouted, Surprise! There they are in their bathing suits. And there the ladies are. They're shouting surprise to Miss Alma. Surprise! shouted Amelia Bedelia. And she ran out with the gifts and dumped them on Miss Alma's lap. Here are the gifts, he said. Alcolo came right behind her with the hose, she said. Alcolo came right behind her with the hose. And here is the shower, he shouted. There they are. They give her all the gifts and then they give her the shower. Oh my goodness, Mrs. Rogers is not going to be happy. A shower, a shower, screamed Mrs. Rouse's four children. And they jumped into the shower with Mrs. Alma. All the ladies screamed, too, and they jumped out of the shower. <laughs> There's all the water going everywhere. Uh-oh, is Amelia Badea going to be in trouble? Miss Alma leaped up. Her gifts flew all over the place. How dare you, she shouted. Miss Alma was angry. She was very angry. Amelia Badilla, Alcolu, shouted Mrs. Rogers. Turn off that water this instant. Amelia Badilla and Alcolo turned off the water. Look at all of those mad people. They're all wet. Did you see how mad Miss Alma was? asked Alcolo. I don't think she liked our shower, said Amelia Badilla. Maybe some hot tea will help her. Amelia Bedelia and Alcolu went into the kitchen. I'll take the tea things, said Amelia Bedelia. You bring the cupcakes. Here's the tea, said Amelia Bedelia. Thank goodness for that, said Mrs. Rogers. Hmm, that chocolate looks good, said Mrs. Ralph. Help yourself, said Mrs. Rogers. Look what's on the plate, my dear children. Are those cupcakes or are those chocolate fish? Mrs. Ralph helped herself to the biggest piece. She took her fourth. Mrs. Ralph tried to cut it, but it would not cut. And Mrs. Ralph wanted that chocolate, so she picked it up and bit it. Ugh! She screamed. Fish! Raw fish! 
Mrs. Ralph was angry. She was very angry. There's poor Mrs. Ralph eating the raw fish, and she was very, very angry. Mr. Rogers came out just then. He heard what Mrs. Ralph said. Fish, he shouted. Amelia Bedelia, what did you do to my fish? Iced them, said Amelia Bedelia. Now Mr. Rogers was angry too. Suddenly, Miss Alma, st Miss Alma started laughing. Everybody looked at her. She jumped up and threw her arms around Amelia Bedelia. You are wonderful, said Miss Alma. My headache is all gone. That surprise shower is just what I needed. <laughs> Raw fish. And then Miss Alma hugged Amelia Bedelia because her headache was all gone. Then Mrs. Ralph laughed. Amelia Bedelia, she asked, did you prune the hedge? Cousin Alcolu did that, said Amelia Bedelia. Then he is wonderful too, said Mrs. Ralph. See how happy my children are? They have never been this good because they like the prunes that are on the hedge. There are the children. And there are the ladies looking at the prunes on the hedge. And then suddenly everybody was laughing. The whole crew was laughing. Mrs. Rogers began to pour the tea. Amelia Bedelia served the chocolate cupcakes. And the ladies said that they were the best cakes they had ever eaten. That was so much fun, said all the ladies. And they laughed some more. And then they helped pick up Miss Alma's gifts that were probably all over the ground. Amelia Bedelia makes everything fun and a little crazy, right? And they were still laughing when they left. Here's the picture of them all going in the beautiful sunset. They had had a fun day with Amelia Bedelia and Alcolu and the surprise shower. This is Grandma Carla, and I love you.